Just first of all, can you tell us about your campaign and why it was so important to Sir David? Thank you and good morning to you. <clears throat> well, Sir David Amos was a... We have, first of all, we are profoundly saddened and, uh, because uh, David Amos, you know, was, uh, was a motivating uh, force of kindness, sincerity, tolerance and passionate for his constituency as well as uh, for a free and democratic Iran. So his loss, you know, was very uh, saddening for us. He was, as you uh, just mentioned, he was the co-chairman of the British uh, Committee for Iran Freedom which includes some 100 parliamentarians from both houses and across the parliament. And uh, I knew him personally myself you know, for more than three decades. And we did a lot of campaigns together. He was uh, really the true voice of uh, a free Iran. He uh, always you know, was leading big delegations of parliamentarians in different gatherings of the NCRI. And he worked very hard you know, to, uh, to bring the perpetrators of crime against humanity in Iran to justice. So Sir David was, uh, his loss, you know, was so great. And uh, I think uh, our resistance movement has lost a great friend, but the British people have also lost a very genuine and uh, a very, uh, I think, great human being. Mm. So uh, he worked very hard on the, all four threats that Iran, uh, the Iranian regime, is uh, at the moment, uh, is characterizing. First was the appalling human rights situation in Iran. Sir David Amos, the, one of the last campaigns that we worked together and I pursued with Sir David and he kindly was supporting this was to condemn the 30,000 uh, executions which happened in a brutal and one of the most heinous crimes against humanity in 1988. And according to uh, many uh, prominent lawyers, this is one of the most uh, horrendous crimes against humanity after the Second World War. So Sir David, uh, in his uh, different articles, in different uh, parliamentary motions and uh, a lot of other campaigns. He was pursuing this and this was one of his dreams mm -hmm. that these uh, leaders of this Iranian brutal religious dictatorship mm -hmm. are brought uh, to justice and they account you know, for the crimes that they have committed. Mm -hmm. So that was the first appalling human rights situation. Secondly, it was the terrorism of the Iranian regime. I myself am a victim of a terrorist assassination attempt and I narrowly escaped death. A bullet hit my chest, another bullet destroyed my liver, and we always you know, talked about this. But uh, he was uh, really a true champion of human rights and advocating uh, freedom and human rights and democracy.